So when you install the Aiden James plate, you're going to get these stock brackets. Uh, if you've had the rear cargo sliding deck like I did that you had to remove, these are the brackets that replace it. You'll notice there's an arrow and a number on them, number two and an arrow. You want the arrow facing forward, so that facing the back seat, the front of the vehicle, etc. Uh, you also will want to use these two small tins that were originally in the back with those other brackets. I know it's kind of dark, but to give you a visual, you can see the arrow pointing here where the seat is. That is the rear. Here's the front. Last step is this the sound deadening this isn't extremely thick stuff and this is eight mil if i remember correctly um so it's not going to be the you know sound studio everything's quiet but i wanted something that would give me a little bit of sound deadening without adding a ton of weight to it uh so this this is uh i think it's noiko i think is how it's pronounced on amazon it was i think 65 dollars for for 36 square feet of it. One thing I do recommend is getting yourself one of these tools. These tools make your life a lot easier installing this stuff. Uh, you also wanna have some gloves and some scissors or razor blade to cut this stuff. Quick note, if you don't have a sliding deck that came standard in the back of this, or if you're a forerunner, you don't really need to do this step because where my metal is, you're already going to have uh, some styrofoam sound deadening type stuff and then the carpet on top of that. Two pieces pretty much work perfectly here. Um, there's going to be a slight bit of overlap here by really about maybe half an inch, quarter an inch. And uh, then next all I'll have to do is just take another piece and go up towards the, the closest to the back seats and just cut it up and kind of play a little bit of a puzzle game. So that said, this is your sticky side here, and it's not, it doesn't exactly sit like hardcore, so you can still play with it a little bit to get it where you want to sit. So this is what I'm looking at right here, and then kind of like your, your like a pizza cutter, just act like you're slicing the pizza and just roll it out. So. So as you can see, it, it forms really nicely, you know, over the little beams and stuff like that, it'll form easily. It's more just getting between brackets and things like that, where you're going to want to kind of cut it up a little bit. All right. So as you can see, it's all done. It's all put in there the best that I could get it in. And now what we're going to do is actually put in this plastic trim piece first, and then we'll start to put in the uh, platform. So one thing I did fail to mention, these brackets here, you have to hit them possibly with a dead blow, just a tad bit. I bolt them in and just tap them a bit um, to match them up with the holes on the, uh, the wood platform. So the holes for the plate are going to be these ones that come in the box or package it's the one with the washer not the uh the flange that's for all corners in the rear you're gonna have these brackets here that just sit under the plastic that's all they do they don't bolt into anything they just sit under the plastic like so and you bolt your bolt down through now again when you're putting in these brackets that go underneath, they sit basically parallel with the tie downs. So if you put it directly across from the tie downs, just slide this under the plastic, just enough where this connects with the bolt, you'll be good. Now, one thing I didn't notice is because it's hard to get your fingers under there, it's a little bit easier to kind of loosely install them before tightening down the rear end completely and then taking a pair of ply needle nose pliers and just kind of grabbing around the sides like so. And then that way, as you tighten this down, it doesn't slide and come out of underneath that plastic in there. Scratch what I said, just get a flathead when that's thin enough to get down in there. And remember, whatever way you're tightening is the way that piece is gonna move. 
So to give you guys a general look, here's the bolt, there's a bracket, and there's that, and you can see how it's basically straight there. So try to keep it as best you can straight. And there is the finished product. Um, I do have a little bit of a drawer system coming in, kind of like a little bit less than half size one. Um, you can see I left a little bit of extra room on this side just because most of the fans and everything are here and over here. So I wanted it to be able to breathe better this way. Um, and of course, you know, you can sit something in there, a little pocket or something. But anyways, hope this helps you guys. Hope it uh, helps you install one if you're looking at one or how to maybe design one.